viewers, today we will be taking a look at Albert Einstein's equation E equals mc squared. First off, what this equation tells us is that there is a direct relation between energy and mass. Actually, it tells us that mass is a form of energy, since c, the speed of light, is a constant. So without going into it too much, according to this equation, we should regard mass as a solid form of energy. So apparently energy can undergo a solidification and become mass, and opposite, mass can evaporate and become energy. But how can we use this equation in real life? Well, we can look at a nuclear power plant using uranium-235 to generate energy. In the fusion reaction of uranium-235, the uranium-235 atom fuses with an incoming neutron, becoming uranium-236 which is unstable and spontaneously splits into, for example, a krypton-92 and a barium-141 molecule. Those of you paying attention will notice that 92 plus 141 is only 233, not 236. The reaction also generates three neutrons. However, this is not the end of the story. If we compare the masses before and after the reaction, we see that the masses going in are not the same as the masses coming out. With a little calculation, we can calculate how much mass is lost. So, during the fusion reaction, we lose mass. This mass is converted into energy. The amount of energy is given by E equals mc squared. So, every fusion reaction generates about 2.8 times 10 to the minus 11th joule of energy. This doesn't seem like a lot, but you have to consider that the number of reactions per second grows exponentially when the reaction is operational. An average nuclear power plant produces 2 megawatts, which means that inside the core there are 7.2 times 10 to the power 16 fusion reactions per second. This also means that the core loses 2.225 times 10 to the power minus 11 kilogram of mass per second, or 0.7 grams per year. Hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.